as you mentioned, why is it that he always has to be confrontational? Why is it that everything he touches, it has to end in some form of confrontation with people? Why is it that you're saying to people, we are going to make life better for you? We are going to give you better housing. We in the world you offer people better life, better housing, and they're resisting and say we don't want a better life. We don't. And something is missing. Mm -hmm. Something is missing. And it, the thing that is missing is honest, straightforward dialogue. The people don't trust him. And they believe that it's just another this real estate gimmick that he's going to push them out and then they won't ever see that area again. These are the issues that people are concerned about. People want to know that they will be given the opportunity to come back. They've asked for something in writing, mm -hmm. but my understanding is that there's been a resistance to give them anything in writing. So why you don't want to give people anything in writing? And then you make it seem as though people are just either foolish or people are just being obstinate they, they just um, don't want to move. No, there's obviously more to this story than what is being told. And so this issue of the residents at Bubi Ali and his threat now to just bulldoze them from the place, this is the way in which Gaston Brown is destroying the soul of Antigua and Barbuda. We no longer have a country where we can reason things out where we can come to some amicable conclusion based on our mutual interests. Everything now has to be based on force, this is based the on the, the, the dictate of one man and his tiny little circle and a failure to really engage and consult and bring people into the process of development, bringing people into the process whereby they can see where there are benefits that they, they will um, be able to get from whatever he's trying to do. So it is typical of this prime minister. And that's one of the reasons why it's so important for us to have a change in this country. We really need to change the temper of government. We need to bring government to the people, government that is empathetic to the people, government full of empathy, love and compassion for the people, not government that just dictates to people and pushes people and um, tells people that if you don't do it the way I tell you to do it, I'm going to mash it down, push it down. That's what he's doing. And the only way that he can get anything done is through force. Now, we know that this administration have failed to get anything moving. The fact that they have failed in over 26 projects is simply because they do not know how to build alliances. 